there, you are watching the English news of Lao Cai radio and television, and now are the headlines. Lao Cai Green Light 53 project for digital change in 2024. Lao Cai Power sets goal for 100% electronic placement. Green roads are improving services to attract more travelers. And now are the details. Lao Cai has said yes to 53 tech and digital train projects with funds of 150 billion VN dollars. So far. Lao Cai has started 26 out of 53 tech and digital change projects that got the green light, with a budget of more than 150 billion VND. Out of these, 16 projects are being continued from the past years, and 9 new projects have kicked off, including a major one led by district-level offices. To push the work forward and make it more effective, the team in charge of digital change in the province has asked government bodies, involved teams, and local governments to watch over and help the projects. Lao Cai plans to track 58% of job sites and give early health exam to 34% of workers who might get sick from their jobs. For 2024, Lao Cai sets a goal to check and monitor 58% of workplaces and early detect occupational diseases in 34% of at-risk workers. Agencies businesses, and localities will boost their efforts in spreading the word, educating, and training on healthcare and prevention of work-related illnesses. The aim is to heighten awareness and responsibility towards safety and occupational hygiene. The health sector will also step up inspections, monitoring, and cross-sector cooperation to foster a safer work environment. The province has now devoted 5,368 hectares to organic farming with the investment from five companies and the participation of nearly 3,000 farming families. Lao Cai's organic production focuses on key agricultural products such as approximately 4,123 hectares of cinnamon and 1,142 hectares of tea. However, the area dedicated to organic agriculture production is still quite modest, making up about 2% of the total crop production area in the province. To expand the area of organic production and increase the value of products, the agriculture sector is focusing on changing the perceptions and mindsets about organic farming for managers and producers. It advises the province to issue policies encouraging organic agriculture development. Right now, 79.44% of its customer pay with Yao using cost. The aim is to get own customer to pay their electricity bill through tax, mobile banking, online banking, or automatic payment by the end of 2024. To reach this target, Lao Cai Power will talk more to its customers to help them see how easy and convenient it is to use modern technology for payments. The company wants everyone to agree on using electronic payments. Also, it will start new projects to make both workers and customers happier and more comfortable with digital services. This includes making customer service better. The train industry has recently upgraded its services by offering high-quality train rides. This has improved the overall quality of travel and the experience for passengers. We're making our trains better and improving how we treat travelers. This is to get more people to choose trains, like what we're seeing at Lao Cai train station. This station has nice, clean waiting areas, an easy way to buy tickets electronically, and a friendly welcome for everyone. 
riêng cái công tác phục vụ hành khách của mọi nhân viên thì đều là có một tư thế tác phong rất là chuẩn của ngành đường sắt Việt Nam. Nhân viên phục vụ từ trên tàu, dưới ga đều đón tiếp hành khách tận tình chú đáo. Và nếu mà hành khách có mà đồ sách nặng thì nhân viên nhà ga sẽ có thể trợ giúp hành khách. These steps are taken to make your train ride easy, comfortable and quick. Our team is professional and kind, helping with bags and making sure you're comfortable whether you're on the train or at the station. We've also added new train cars and made sure they all have air conditioning. We've brought in fresh blankets, sheets, and pillows and made the inside of the trains nicer. This makes your journey more comfortable and friendly. We're always here to help, with a smile, to make you feel at home. Thanks to these better services, more people are taking the train. In 2023, nearly 213,000 travelers used the Lao Cai train station. With more than 58,700 in just the first three months. That's an 81% jump from last year. We have a car and could drive from Hanoi to Lao Cai, but we prefer the train. It's modern and the service is top-notch. With these good changes and sticking to being safe, friendly, on time, and efficient, trains are becoming a favorite way to travel again for both locals and tourists. In Lao Cai province, different groups and departments are working harder to make spot places better, add more kinds of spots, and set up good places for play. Every recess, or at the end of each school day, Hoang Hai Nam, along with his peers, engages in practicing chess. With his proficiency in chess, recently Hainam was selected for the school team to participate in the Lao Cai Provincial Chess Championship for teenagers and children in 2024 period. I find chess to be a very intriguing sport, helping me exercise my brain and relieve stress after each study hour. I wish to interact and share my passion for chess with my seniors to further foster students' enthusiasm for school sports. Schools not only allocate practice spaces and invest in physical infrastructure, but also pay attention to deploying a team of specialized teachers to nurture students' talents. I personally have a keen interest in archery. This sport helps me enhance precision, focus, and discipline, contributing to the development of our ethnic traditional sport. Investing in physical infrastructure is crucial, as it determines the quality and safety of students' training and competitions. Every year, the school also allocates funds to purchase equipment for physical education, to ensure students' effective training investing in physical infrastructure, innovating teaching programs associated with deploying a team of physical education teachers, has been enhanced both quantitatively and qualitatively. Currently, 100% of high schools have physical education teachers who meet the training standards. We are committed to improving the quality of physical education at all educational levels, organizing various activities such as experiences, extracurricular sessions, establishing many sports clubs, and organizing the Fudong Health Festival every four years, providing opportunities for students to develop physically and enhance their overall stature and fitness we also collaborate with the education sector to promote socialization organize sports competitions affirming the growing trend of school sports mm -hmm. 
From this developmental trend, we will discover outstanding athletes to represent our province in competitions. Stimulating the athletic potential of students contributes not only to improving physical fitness. Our program is ending. Thank you for your attention.